Hi guys, I'm Coach Dalton here and welcome back to our video. Okay, today I'll be carrying out lesson two with you guys again. And then what we're gonna learn is actually our three to nine, our housing, and also our impact. Okay, so let's all go back to revision of lesson one. We learned our grip, posture, and stance. I got that ready with me already. So I go into my grip, posture, and stance. Okay, I have a good distance between myself. It's probably just one hand space. We're gonna do our three to nine. So three, we we'll take a clock around me. We have a tree behind here and a nine over here. So we want our club to some, somewhere stop over there, okay? So a very important thing is that when we move the club away, the term that we use is called a takeaway. So when somebody tells you a takeaway, you actually bring the club back, okay? With your shoulders, okay? So you, let's say the coach is gonna say, show me your takeaway. So at the start here, we're not gonna use our hands, okay? Not going to use our wrist, but we're going to turn our shoulder. So look at my chest and my tummy. Okay, we're going to turn away. Okay, so this is a good takeaway. Okay, a point to check is that my shoulders have to be slightly pointing at the ball. Okay, and my chest should be pointing 45 degrees backwards. Rather than I'm just using my hands. Okay, when I'm doing this, you can see my chest is still pointing towards the camera. Okay, so this will be very risky. Okay, so let's try and feel on the backswing. That take away at three o'clock, we're gonna turn our chest and my shoulders backwards. Okay, so somewhere over here. Okay, so that will be my three o'clock. Okay, next thing for my nine o'clock. Okay, my follow through. Okay, so when I'm gonna do my three o'clock, I'm gonna turn through nine o'clock. I'm gonna feel like my chest is turning, having my my arms both are straight. Try and keep my right shoulder slightly down. Okay, so it looks something like that. Back swing, take away, three o'clock and nine o'clock so with my chest. So you'll notice that I do not have any wrist movement going down like that, okay? Or going out like that, okay? We wanna have our chest turning. So we go three, two, nine, and stop, okay? So that will be our three to nine half swing. They will actually help you get hitting the ball. If you do a proper half swing and strike the ball well, Trust me, your seven iron will go roughly 100 meters, okay? Next up, let's share a little bit about impact, okay? So some of you guys always share that, hey, I'm doing the swing correctly, my ball is not flying. So a very simple analogy, okay? Where must you hit on the ball? You must hit the ground. You must brush the ground, okay? So that means you have to hit underneath the ball. If you do not hit underneath the ball, no matter how beautiful your swing is, your ball is not gonna fly, okay? So let's have a brushing sound through the swing, okay? And that will help you get the ball lofted, okay? So a lot of customers will ask, okay, what is impact and motion, okay? Probably for just a start for a beginner. Let's just have you feeling a little bit weight on the left. Your hands are slightly moving in front of the ball, okay? And that will give you a good impact, okay? As you move on, your impact will actually change. You will have more hips rotation through the ball. You will have slightly your hands moving faster. You have your shoulders covering the ball more. But as for now, for the start, let's just have your hands and your weight slightly to the left. Okay? So hopefully these few tips of having your three to nine give you a better understanding of your half swing and also a better impact. Okay? Good job, guys. I'll see you next time. 